Another very, very exciting game that I'm really looking forward for is Plague Tales Requiem. And I gotta say, this is the gameplay trailer. And um, I'm really excited to watch this. Um, my buddy wants to see my reaction to this. And you know for a fact I'm very excited for this. Last time we seen a little bit of the gameplay, I got very emotional at the end. And um, this is my first time seeing this. And I'm kind of scared that I'm going to be probably emotional at the end. But this game will be coming out in October, guys. And um, really excited for this game. And I'm currently playing the, the first one. Um... I'm currently playing it on PC for the first time, so go check it out if you haven't already. And uh, let's get ready for this reaction video. Okay, here we go. There's commentary, so. It's raining? Stay here in control. The point of you see one bloody rat. I knew it. I knew it. All right. Move her quick. Far across the sea, an island calls. Ooh. The thing never stays nice. It always turns bad. Ooh. Oh Things no. Aren't always nice. You can change them. Oh. oh. The way we always do. Oh, uh -huh, the gameplay. How far will you go to save the ones you love? A Plague Tale Aww. Requiem picks up a few months after the end of Innocence. Okay. Right around the first days of summer. Amicia and Hugo are headed south, along with their mother Beatrice and the young okay. alchemist Lucas. Okay. Reaching places still spared by the devouring plague, the raging wars, and the rabid rats that are running rampant in the north. Is that a fair? Beneath the warm sun of 14th century Provence, the Daroons are almost able to enjoy a normal life. True. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah. Aww. But for a recurrent dream that Hugo has been having of a mysterious island that calls him. It's a tiny, it's a huh. tiny island. How come nobody noticed their disappearance? Maybe nobody cares. Maybe. One day, the macula illness that's been dormant inside Hugo awakens, and oh, the shit. dreaded living nightmare begins again. Oh shit. In the wake, Amicia finds herself with no other choice but to trust her brother's dreams and head further south towards the elusive island before he's consumed by the terrible macula affliction. The bite. Yes. They brought the arena down. They let them die. Oh. Starting all over again. Aww. Her mind is made up. She will find a cure in what dreams and prophecy may hold. Get used to it. With almost no one they can trust. This is your life now. Amicia and Hugo must traverse land and water as restless forces stand against them. <sighs> Amicia. Oh, oh shit. After the events of last winter, Amicia is hardened, experienced, and when backed against the wall, can be surprisingly resourceful. Mm -hmm. She can. Yes. Oh, the crossbow. With new tricks up her sleeve, she is now able to freely choose between oh. striking through the shadows or unleashing hell with a variety nice. of and tools. Nice! Oh, that's so badass. Okay, equipping. Nice. The sling's back, baby. Hugo wants more than ever to help his big sister and not hinder their progress. We need to leave or we'll do everything. The macula within him is a double-edged sword that has deepened his connection Yeah, we've seen that kind of gameplay. They can feel people's blood. Now I can too. This powerful I've ability seen that one too. can decimate entire squads of soldiers. It takes a severe toll on Hugo every time oh. he uses it. What's wrong? What's wrong? I wonder what's wrong with Amicia, Thankfully, though. Their journey brings not only hardship, 
but also unexpected friends. These colorful characters help the Daroons carry their terrible burden. It's not my first time. While Lucas. offering unique skills and resources to bring them closer to their elusive goal. Oh, Oh my god, For yes. Alicia and Hugo, the road ahead will test the limits of what they can endure on all levels. Oh and just my how god. Far they're willing to go. Reaching the island is only the first step to truly understanding the terrible affliction that's stricken their family as the lines between reality, fantasy, and fate dissolve. Keeping it together and finding the cure to save Hugo will be nothing short of a miracle. Oh my god. But Amicia has hope. And hope is the last thing lost. Others have burned in it. If you kill, be ready to be killed. No. Oh shit. A Plague Tale Requiem releases October 18th, October 18th on Xbox Series. And PlayStation as well. I think. Right? Yeah, PlayStation 2? Yeah, PlayStation as well. So it's not just... This was the Xbox uh, little thing. Um, wow, just... Oh my god, dude. There, There's just so much, like, stuff going on in this. Like, Hugo is not cured, in a way. <sighs> I'm still playing this the first one. And uh, getting to the part where the last part is? Uh, that's gonna be annoying. Um, but anyways, uh, here we have is Amicia. She is a little, little bit older now, um, comparing to the first one, um, before he goes a little small. I like this part where you can go to the fair and you can, like, act, like, go through the fair and live a normal life and all that stuff. I like that. I really do. Um, because Hugo, uh, has not been to a fair at all and it's so good and I can definitely see that the mother, uh, the mother, uh, Lucas, uh, Hugo, and Amicia, they're all here. All of them are here. And, um, I'm surprised I don't see Melly, though. Maybe we'll see her, maybe, at the, somewhere around there? Probably in the, around the road? I don't know. She probably took parts away, who knows. But living a normal life, I like that. Living a normal life, doing all, like, Looking around, doing this. I like this. I really like this. Um, definitely living a normal life. You can actually interact and throw these kind of things. I guess when Hugo Prize, which Hugo is right around here, which you guys don't see him right there. Um, I like that. I really do. Uh, definitely brings out, um, instead of bringing out the horror and all that stuff, or, you know, all that stuff that's happening. It looks so beautiful. And then, like, when I heard about both rides, I want to, I'm curious about Amicia, though. Um, when I watched the last trailer of the gameplay, I'm curious what Amicia, like, has the same condition as Hugo. I mean, they're blood-related, so it could be possible. Or she just hit her head, or one of the soldiers hit her head, or something like that. I don't know. But, um, just really curious what is wrong with Amicia. I did my, uh, thoughts, my theories about that, um, on my last video when I was playing the game, when I was playing the first game. Um, I'm just, I'm very curious, like, does she have the same, um, you know, the same, um, thing that Hugo has, or, or something? But Hugo, Hugo can c control the rats. I like the controlling the rats process, and, like, him drawing the little, um, castle over here. You guys don't see it, but it's just, it's so cool, like, honestly. And I never thought that they would make a second one. And when um, my friend told me, hey, they're making a second one because I'm a big fan of the first one, I was like, oh my god. I was, like, screaming my bloody head off. Um, they announced it way back in the Game Awards last year. And um, it was just, wow. Just, wow. I'm so impressed with it. But, um, yeah, I'm just, like, everything that's going on. So the main goal is to reach the island. And that's when the boat comes in here. And then having a little nightmare going on with, like, the whole bunch of rats. Amicia is by herself, it looks like. I'm curious if we can actually play as Hugo as well. Because we did that in the first one as well. But, um, this was... Oh my god, this is, like... I would be running my ass off because you can see the rats. That is just crazy. And you can see that Hugo's wearing a flower because Amicia wears, like, those little flowers for good luck. I'm curious if we can find more of those, too. 
But um, yeah, this is gonna be very awesome. Um, Lucas is with us. Um, this is gonna be very intense. I'm really excited to start up playing this game, and um, I'm just I'm very excited about it. And it's gonna be really awesome. It looks like the mother is leaving in this part, so you can see that um, the mother's leaving. Uh, so hugging her kids goodbye, I guess, or hugging her kids um on the boat, like saying like you know, good luck and all that stuff. So they're just hugging each other. Um, I guess this part is like they're out of that um, area that they were in where, where it was infested by rats. And uh, they're on the boat again. So at least like they're going somewhere. They got different people. I think these are, are bad guys. Um, soldiers kind of guys. But uh, who knows? You may never know. And it looks very amazing. I cannot wait to see um, more of this game, uh, it'll be coming out October 18, which I'm really excited, and, uh, yeah, so, I guess so, we've seen this part where Misia fell down, Hugo had it to, like, save everybody, and, um, you know, it's crazy, and then the combat action with Amicia, like, it looks so amazing, I'm very impressed by this, because, um, before, the first one, she didn't had a, um, frost spell, she had her sling, with a rock and just hit each and every soldier with the sling. And for stealthiness, you had to have the uh, little uh, thing. So I wanted to show you guys. So let me look at the, look here. So, where you can see right here, there is these things right here. So like, whatever this is, I think that's gold. And then that is obviously a knife. Unless that's rocks. Maybe that's rocks and maybe that's gold. Most likely. I'm not exactly too sure. Um... My guess would be rocks because she still has her sling and all that stuff. So new um, attack abilities. I like this. The the stealthy mode. You can stab the person because you have an option if you want to stab the person. It looks so... Oh my god. Amicia is such a badass. Oh my god. Look at this. You got like a new like a whip with fire. So like new abilities. You got the classic. You got a sling. Uh, alchemy. But yeah, when you look at it, it says a recycling tool is helpful for breaking jars, knife, or jars, knife, pry fuck, and bolts to scrap if Amicia has no more room. So recycling tool. That's pretty cool. That's new. So instruments, instruments, that's what it's called. Instruments. So there's different instruments you can do too for crafting. And um, this is pretty cool. We've seen this in the uh, Game Awards. That is pretty damn cool. And then there's her sling. Her sling is uh, a lot longer. You got the fire mode for the sling. Um, pretty, pretty cool. Everything's just... I'm super excited for this. I really am. Um, I don't know. There's like so much stuff going on. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, let me know... I am very excited for this. If you guys want to see my gameplay of the first one, I am doing the first one on PC, mouse and keyboard style. Yep, that one. Um, really excited for this. Uh, I'll link it in the description. So, thank you guys again for watching this. Guys, do enjoy this. Leave a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. As always, peace out. Keep giving. And uh, let me know your thoughts on this. As always, take care. And I will see you guys. Baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true Baby, won't you let the light